Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile, Review and Analysis Welcome. So today we will be talking about Great Britain's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and please stay tuned as well because at the end of the video we will be putting Great Britain in our list of favorites for Miss Universe 2022. I'm sorry. And before we talk about Great Britain's representative this year, let's talk about their performances in the last 10 editions of the pageant. So that's from 2012 to 2021. So from those years, they were able to pull five amazing placements which is actually really really good. Amy Willerton in 2013 pulled their highest placement from those last 10 editions by finishing in the top 10. And Emma Rose Cooling Ridge, last 2021, finishing in the top 16 is, go is their latest placement in the pageant. This year, they just crowned Noki Simbani. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram, Instagram account, which I will be posting at the bottom part of the screen. And it is at Noki Simbani, so that we could be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. Now, Noki is 25 years old, and she's got a master's degree in chemical engineering. Wow. She also previously competed at Miss Grand International 2015, where she unfor where unfortunately she didn't place. But that's okay, because again, as what I've said before, your performance or placement in the previous pageant doesn't matter. What matters is what you're going to give right now, performance-wise. For her national pageant performance, I have only seen a very, very few clips of her swimsuit and a very short clip as well of her walking in her evening gown. And first of all, I have issues with her walk. When she competed at Miss Grand International, she looked great on both preliminaries, but the walk truly needed a lot of work. And as I watched her swimsuit preliminaries, I was completely stunned. At, I mean, not really swimsuit preliminaries, but her swimsuit performance at the finals of Miss Universe Great Britain. I am completely stunned at, uh, at how it improved. So kudos to her for doing that. And her walk was is more solid. The turns are well executed. And compared to before, the poses are done well. Unlike before where I was seeing some balance issues, especially right after the turn and where she's doing the poses. It felt like she's a little bit wobbly, but what I saw during the national pageant was much, much better. So good job for her. For the evening gown, I wasn't a fan of the gown choice. And to be honest, based on her looks, on her crowning, I would love to see a much better styling at Miss Universe. Again, as what I have said, I preferred her styling at Miss Grand International Preliminaries than her styling now at the national pageant. So when she goes to Miss Universe, she needs to beat her preliminary styling at Miss Grand International. I hope she used that as her basis and come into the competition well styled. For the public speaking, well, she's very, very smart. She nailed her final answer in the national pageant and it was, it was a very, very good delivery as well. And I think this is one of the reasons why candidates from Great Britain are getting a lot of placements, especially in the last set editions, because even if the passarella are okay-ish, the public speaking is really their strength. Overall, with a high caliber of candidates competing this year, I'm really hoping that we're going to see a tremendous work in transformation for Noki in order for her to pull their third placement in a row. So good luck to her preparation. Having said that, Great Britain is the 29th candidate that we have reviewed. And here's our current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. And unfortunately, she didn't make it in my top 16, so which me uh, so far. So which means my ranking is still the same. 16 for Ukraine, 15 Mauritius, 14 Guatemala, 13 Ghana, 12 Dominican Republic, 11 for Indonesia, 10 for Panama, 9 Portugal, 8 for Peru, 7 for Curaçao, 6 Mexico, 5 Vietnam, 4 Cambodia, 4 Vietnam, interchanged, 
three for Venezuela, two for Philippines, and my current number one is still Colombia. So if you haven't seen my reviews for the other ladies on this list, it's already available on my YouTube channel, so you can just go ahead and check them out. So what are your thoughts on Great Britain this year? Do you think she could pull another surprise placement? Because Emma Rose Cooling Rich did that last year. Will it happen again? So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.